Next is a women's doubles, Chinese Taipei versus Italy. singles actually the champion next and then here we have the women's doubles draw on the top of this one will be playing the next 16 team from Thailand. First up, it's the uh, Italian team. Her highest world ranking of 55. And there's her partner, Sylvia Garino, 20 years of age, made 170. Again, her ranking is 68. And we have the Chinese Taipei, Lin Xiaoming. The high school ranking was 29 from Chinese Taipei. And there's her partner, Wu Feng Chen, 28 years of age, 170 centimeters. And she's also from Chinese Taipei. Now the final preparations of the women's doubles. The winner will be going on to meet Thailand in the round of 32s. Talking to the coach, and their goal this year is to qualify. 
qualified for the European Olympic Championships. That's a new event, so that's their next goal. They started playing about three years ago. Marino takes her first trouble to the rear. She's so more at the front court. She needs to work her way into the rally and try to set up her partner. Well, on the far side, we have the more experienced Ladies Chinese Taipei gentlemen. team. On my right, Wu Feng Jin, Lin Xiao Min, Chinese Taipei. And there is the Taipei. Taipei. Taipei's match. And on my left, Silva, Silvia Marino, Lin Iverson. Well, it only to serve. Jesus to serve first. Come on. Please. Please. Service over. One. Low. 21 years of age. Not as experienced as... Wu Feng Jin on the other side, which is 27 years of age. Any pitcher right now? Just a little smash to set it up. There's the Italian One, coach, two. originally from Spain and now resides in Milano, Italy. A miss hit on that one and a broken string. Most of the players are stringing the rackets about 30 pounds, so it's pretty much as if you miss hit it, it usually breaks. Well, the younger Italian pair, they have about 20 sparring partners at the National Center in Italy, and trying to Four. help each other out. That's a very Three. young team. A lot of singles as well. And then you have the Spaniard that also trains there. Beatrice Corolas. Oh, a little undecided. Wasn't sure if that was going out the side or not. And it stayed in. just trying to find the court. It is a big stadium here. Not much of a drift. The shuttlecocks are a little bit slower, harder to oh. get down, and that one's just so we saw, uh, four, short of the line in five. serve. We have a new rule this year. It has to be under 1.15 meters when you strike the shuttlecock, so a little bit lower than previous years that it kind of snuck up on. <laughs> Sometimes a little bit five, almost under four. the chin some people got away with. So. Definitely a lower serve now. So we saw a six, five. Chen so so trying to six, gain the net. Four. She comes in nice and quickly. And that's the object. Trying to get on attack and set up your partner at the net. So a lot of times, nice and patient down the center of the court. 
seven, six. Comes across the body and always trying different Eight, angles six. on attack if you come not always straight and flat and hard. Just a different angle coming at the shoulder a little difficult to return. And that's just out the side. Nine, Coming up on pole one, women's single match from India, Sayana Benwo, and from Turkey, Aliye Demirbar. He finds a back corner that way the Chinese Taipei team lead the way into the break just after five minutes of play. And here's the coaches coming in for a quick talk. It's 11-6. Feng Chen to serve. They're leading the game 11 to 6, and now six minutes of play. Stronger of the team on the far side, and there's a great cutoff. Puts it to the ground. Well, Chinese Taipei sit at world ranking 29 at the moment. That's just out the side. 14, 6. Now taking a big lead. Nice short serve. Sets up a partner. Catches the defense. 15, 6. Short one and put away. And the Chinese Taipei team really putting the six. pressure on right from the get go. Gets her caught at the back. Goes cross. Seventeen six. Chinese Taipei are running away with this game. It's 17 6. And that's a short serve. Oh. Well left. Service over. Service over. 7 17. A nice return by Wu. And straight down Service the middle. over. 18 7. A flick serve to the back. Turn it around. There we go. That's a rally to get into it. The longest rally of this match. Good smash down the middle. Now the Italian duo settling down. Well done. Fighting their way back into it. 17-6. 
Well left out the side. Nine eighteen. Pressure and that's a put away. So by Lin. 19 Finn. Xiao Ying. Feng Chen. Just puts it in. 20 game point Finn. First game point for Chinese Taipei in nine minutes of play. Puts it to the back. And that does it. Chinese Taipei take the first game in 21-10. In 10 minutes of play, getting on attack first. So a few rallies at the Italian duo. Got the way back. First into game a few won of by Lin Xiaomin, Wu Feng Jin, Introducing Quark 3, next up, Wang Chiyue, Lee Chinese, Se potete provare nessun problema, ok? Se non potete fare questo colpo, Sapete che dopo la prima difesa arriva un altro tesso, perché il problema è che fate una difesa bene ma poi la racchetta non è pronta per il secondo. Code to 20 seconds. Code to 20 seconds. Second game. Low wall. Play. Well, we're into the second game. Chinese take in low. black on the near side. Take the first game at 21-10. On the board first, 1-0. to zero. And That's tied up at one apiece. So we saw, uh, the young duo one, on the other side, 20 four. and 21 years of age. So, Iverson and Sylvia Marino. Service over. Two, one. Sylvia also plays some mixed doubles as well, so she's more of the front court player trying to get on attack. Three, but great one. experience here at the World Championships. We're in Nanjing, China. Lots of badminton being played. And if they can learn. Some experience, some patience on their defense. Four, They'll move up one. the ranking fairly quickly.
Uh, the Chinese Taipei team, they're ranked 55 in the world right now. They actually only have nine tournaments on the world ranking. The world ranking, you take your best three, 10 results. Five. So if you have more than 10, you get rid of your worst results. But if you only have nine, it's still divided by 10. So it should be actually higher so on the world ranking. So six, any points now, three. the ranking will go up. And there you see Wu in that picture. She's a more experienced player. They made a round of 16th at the Badminton Asian Championships. So four, Most of the other six. matches this year, they lost in the first rounds as well. to serve. And a good smash cross court to get another point. Up by five now. Nine, four. Championships in Scotland, Glasgow. It was won by China in the women's doubles. Chin Chin Chen and Joey Fan won that game. But it's the women's doubles has been dominated by China. Semi Silver. Five nine. In the last 12 World Championships, they've won the women's doubles. But this year we have a lot of strong teams from Japan. Indonesia will have a, a shot at a medal. Maybe even favorites for Japan. Japan won the Uber Cup for the 2018 Uber Cup. China has dominated that for many, many years. It's a world team championships. Japan versus Thailand Eleven, in the finals. Six, and here we're into the Eleven. second break. 21 10, 11 6. Oh. Oh. Well, a lot of experience for the Italian team taken away from this game. Looking forward to trying to qualify for the European Olympics 11, coming six. next year. You have to be top 16. It's Please. a 16 draw, so that that's their go goal in the next little while. We're talking to the coach earlier today, originally Twelve, from Spain, and now he resides in Italy. And that one goes out the side. 13, 13 to six. Yeah, the coach for Italy, Arturo Lopez. He's 14, been to four different six. world championships and starting in 95 and to 2003. He's a four time men's singles champion for Spain and He's coaching with his old doubles Seven, partner, Ernesto 14. Garcia. He won 10 times the Spanish Open, or excuse me, Spanish Nationals uh, together. So 
Now they're sitting on the chairs for Italy. Wu at the back of the court, trying to get on attack. It's a short lift that time. And a broken string. Eight, 14. Watch this. It's a short lift, gets her on the backhand. A smash into the net. Good lift to the back of the court, that's what they need. They're really short on their lifts at the Nine, moment, and that's really 15. hard. They struggle on, on defense, but it's also that setup shot. If you can, in women's doubles, if you can get it right to the back of the night line, it's a great benefit. So for this young Seven, team on the far side in white, they need to find that back Nine. court a little bit better in the women's doubles, and it makes everything that much easier once you find it. Well, good try, almost to push into that corner. And that's exactly what you need. Put that pressure 16, on. Nine. Great attack. Puts it away. Lin Tiao Ying. Lin Tiao Ying, 21 years of age. Under it in 70 centimeters tall. It's smashed down the middle. Trying to find the holes. Just gets it back. Again, starts it off. Nice rally. Comes across the body, a hard one to return. Woo's fast on her feet at the net. Gets a racket nice and high. Here's it set up. Picks the right spot. Good smash again. Good thought. That's where you want to do it. Try to counter attack it. Nine, Try to move in. Nine. But the pressure from the Chinese Taipei team, it, it's too hard at the moment. A little bit outclassed on this one, but a lot of experience that uh, the Italian duo will take away. Got away with that one. And Wu with the put away at the net. Well, that gives Chinese Taipei their first match point at 20 to 10. Chinese Taipei take the match. Nice, confident, steady on attack. We're up against Thailand in the round of 32s. Match won by Lin Xiaomin. Well, they did their job, got on attack, solid defense. Great learning experience for the Italian duo. Played well, 21-10, 21-10 in 22 minutes.